the green was insane. I am drenched. And anyway. So for the morning session, we practice putting on our level 4 PPEs. Now it's something we won't necessarily be applying much in the hospital since we won't be sent into COVID wards during clerkship. But it's a nice practice to understand the basic principles of personal protective equipment. Here you can see me helping my classmate out of his PPE, which is just to simulate what to do if someone's having a hard time getting out of PPE by themselves where you don't take off your own PPE first, but you first take off their PPE and wait for them to change before you yourself take off your PPE so that you don't get contaminated by any pathogens that may have been on their suit. For the afternoon session, we practice inserting a nasogastric tube and Foley catheters into the practice domics provided us by the school. my perceptor demonstrating how the Foley catheter works by injecting a syringe filled with water into the Foley catheter, inflating the balloon at the end. What this balloon does is that it prevents the Foley catheter from being pulled out back into the urethra, keeping it lodged in the bladder. Alex, what, what can you say about today's uh, face to day one, the face to face? I learned so much, super worth the hassle, dude. Super worth it. Yeah. And ASMPH is so prepared, they take so much care of us. So like, uh, yeah, definitely. Best school in Ortigas. <laughs> Okay, so let's look forward to day two. Let's Woo! go! Day two again, two more days of day. Here we see my professor demonstrating the steps on how to insert an IV cannulation into a patient's hand before letting us practice it on each other. The importance of this is that it allows us to not only practice how to do the steps properly, but also gain an idea of what it feels like to undergo these procedures so that we can empathize with the patient if they feel pain when we perform it on them. And I feel that this procedure, as well as phlebotomy, is a procedure that we have to be able to understand how the patient is feeling since it's a type of procedure that we'll be performing a lot during clerkship and internship.
the afternoon, we spend our time practicing how to tie surgical knots. We practice a total of three different sutures, the simple interrupted, the simple continuous, and the interlocking. Since we have to share kits, I spent the first hour practicing my hand tying skills before switching over with my partner and practicing suturing using the surgical tools. It's been a while since I last sutured, so it felt good practicing this procedure again right before clerkship. On the last day of clinical skills training, we spent the time learning how to don and doff surgical gowns. Whereas donning and doffing level 4 PP prioritizes carefully removing the gown, the most important part for surgical gowns is putting on the gown. This is because you have to maintain sterility with the outer part of the gown at all times because this is the portion of your body that is only allowed to come in contact with the patient's body and this prevents infection in the patient since you'll be opening up their body cavities during surgery. So that marks the end of my clinical skills training. It was really fun getting to practice clinical skills right before clerkship since it's been more than a year since we actually got to practice it ourselves. It's great seeing my friends, getting to hang out with them, and sharing some laughs. And hopefully we'll get to learn more as we enter the hospitals later this year. So if you want to follow along on my journey as I start my clinical rotations this year, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.